Okay, now uh, after we've painted it, we've uh, here's the tank with uh, uh, basically the base coat clear coat on it. And what's, uh, what occurred was uh, some minor uh, orange peel. And uh, if you look at it here, let me just lift it up here, and uh, you can take a look. Uh, see, the, uh, see the light bulb there that's directly above us. See how it's all uh, muddled and a rough edge to it? Uh, that's orange peel. So what we're going to have to do now is take that off. And uh, what I've done now uh, is I basically by hand with uh, starting out with 600 uh, grit paper. And uh, I had my water, used warm water with uh, some uh, soapy uh, dishwashing liquid. And uh, soaked my, uh, my uh, sanding uh, paper. And now I've taken it down and gotten rid of all of the orange peel. So you can see that it's a consistent flat color now. Now what I need to do is I need to buff it back uh, and bring that tank back. You can see the shiny uh, right under the where the gas tank uh, opening is. Uh, that's, we're not even going to bother with that because that's got a uh, aluminum cover piece or a stainless cover piece that goes over it as part of the motorcycle. So uh, that's where so we're at right now. now we'll see is, what happens uh, after we do I some found work. out uh, that I had a bunch of orange peel on my tank. It was all over the place, so I sanded it down with 1,500 and 2,000 uh, grit sandpaper, but I couldn't get a really high gloss buff to it. Went out and bought uh, from uh, Harbor Freight, bought this little uh, air compressor gun because I got this real fancy air compressor sitting over there. And because I only have a, a gas tank to do, I don't need a four inch. Uh, uh, sanding pad. What I did was I went back and I found Meguiar's uh, made a whole series of products for uh, uh, bringing that luster out, that real shine. And what I ended up doing here was after sanding it with 2000 paper, uh, wet dry uh, paper, and it was wet and I put uh, uh, dish soap in it and that worked really well for getting all of the uh, uh, sanding swirls off. This is a swirl remover. It has a little gauge here on the left-hand side, and it tells you basically how much it needs to cut. And I didn't need to cut more. I just needed to kind of start buffing it. So it's a three-phase, uh, three-step process, and this swirl remover has now brought back some of the sheen that I was looking for. Here, I'll uh, turn this around. You can kind of see... So now you can kind of see those uh, what was really orange peeled before is actually looking pretty good for the first process. Uh, and it still has some residue on it as well. But uh, what I'm going to do is move into this machine glaze now. And I use uh, basically these foam pads. Uh, this one has a little more texture to it. This one's a little uh, finer. And then there's like this... Uh, you know, a uh, ladies buffing wheel, I'll just call it that. Uh, and it's a show glaze, uh, and I'll buff it out really shiny with that. And we'll see if we can get that, uh, this whole thing to look uh, good again uh, without having to uh, clear coat. Uh, that's what I was worrying about a little bit. So, uh, there you go, it's uh, starting to come around. And uh, so what's happening here now uh, is we're basically taking this applicator with this machine glaze right now, and I have applied it here, and this is all saturated here, so I can still use this. So basically what I'm doing is just kind of not putting a lot of pressure on it, but I'm just taking it to the next level of buff. You gotta watch out on these corners right here because you can take charge, you can just go right through your clear coat and your uh, base coat. And you'll be uh, fairly mad, I think. <laughs> 